Hey guys, let's check out and see what Google is saying about PHP. So, uh, yeah, PHP, established in 1994, very cool. Uh, PHP is at version 8 now. So PHP 8.03 has been released March 2024, very, very, very recently, very recently. So what you're going to see with the PHP 8 upgrades are uh, what I would consider enterprise work, meaning PHP is now ready for the big leagues, although sites like Facebook and so forth uh, use PHP. Anyhow, let's just jump into it. What is PHP and why is it used? PHP is a server-side scripting language that is used to develop static websites or dynamic websites or web applications. PHP stands for Hypertext P Processor that earlier stood for personal home pages. PHP scripts can only be interpreted on the server that has a PHP installed. This video is sponsored by Cloudways, which is a managed cloud hosting platform. Cloudways offers peace of mind and flexibility through the choice of five cloud providers. So the way Cloudways works is that it is a layer that sits on top of DigitalOcean, AWS, Linode, uh, Google Cloud, etc. And they just make it really easy to provision and to set up a server. You as a developer don't have to worry about all those details. Cloudways is an ideal platform for agencies, small and medium-sized businesses, and e-commerce because you, the developer, can focus on business instead of managing multiple servers by yourselves. They have all kinds of capabilities built in. Great performance, SSD, 7.3, and PHP 8 available, built-in caches, optimized stack, HTTP 2 support, good security, firewall, one-click SSL installation, auto-healing servers, it gives you a lot of freedom. So there's vertical integration, block storage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Very good platform that takes care of all the nitty gritty of server management and provisioning so you can concentrate on your app development. Once again, take a look at Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform. This represents modern day server implementations. I highly recommend this style of hosting for your applications. Just in case you don't know, PHP is similar to Python, JavaScript, Ruby, in that they are uh, scripting languages in that they need a runtime, which is basically just a program that reads and processes all that PHP code. So PHP is widely used in terms of server-side programming. PHP is the most widely used programming language out there in terms of server-side. Uh, we're gonna look at language um, hierarchy soon, but anyway. So, is the PHP language dead? Uh, so according to W3 text data, PHP is used by 78 0.9% of all websites with a known server-side programming language. So almost eight out of every 10 websites that you visit on the internet are using PHP in some way. But when that number is still over 75%, it's tough to use, it's tough to use that decline to pronounce PHP as dead. Yeah, so that's, a, that's a, think about this. This is gonna blow, people's minds are blown away right now. The going PHP, the dead language, is used by 78.9% of all websites on the interwebs. So uh, PHP is hardly dead. So let's go on. Why is PHP so bad? Developers hate PHP be because it's technically inconsistent language with bad design. I'm going to comment on that soon. When you compare it to other languages, the contrast is obvious. It's very easy to make bad and insecure code with PHP, but PHP is not a security hole or doomed to ugly code if you code properly. That's the main point. So one of the big misconceptions out there about PHP, somehow it's a terrible language, it's garbage. Yes, PHP 3, PHP 4 to a lesser extent, were really not very good. And you look at the history of PHP in that it was developed initially just as a templating language, and then people started expanding upon it and using it as a full language, so the PHP creators started adding full-blown programming capabilities to it over time. Also, 
they wanted PHP to be very approachable. Most of the early PHP coders, or not all of them, were not programmers. So the PHP creators wisely made things easy to do with PHP. Unfortunately, by making it super easy, it left a bunch of security holes. I say wisely because by doing that, by making PHP easy, it spread like wildfire to the point where, you know, we'll say 75% of all websites use PHP in some way or another. Over time though, since PHP 4 and then 5 and 7, now 8, they've been closing up those holes. They pretty much eliminated most of them in the later versions of like 5.6 or something like that. Um, there's no PHP 6, they skipped 6. They went right to 7 for all kinds of reasons I won't get into now. And uh, yeah, so with PHP 7 and above especially, it's pretty much enterprise ready. If you want to build serious apps, you can do it with PHP. Just don't use PHP 3 and PHP 4. That's all. What companies use PHP? Number one, Facebook, perhaps the most notorious social media application, web application with more than 1.49 billion users. Facebook was developed primarily using PHP. Wikipedia, Tumblr, Slack, MailChimp, Etsy, WordPress. So when somebody tells you that PHP can't be used for serious work, um, you can't take these people seriously, right? Because look, 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 you know, Studio Web, my own SaaS, is created with uh, PHP and it works really well. We use PHP Laravel, we don't have a problem. And the great thing, as, you've, as you probably know, there's tons of PHP hosting out there. So let's continue. Uh, what is basic PHP syntax? Okay, forget that. Will PHP die? Let's we'll see what this guy has to say. As stated early, languages never die, they proliferate. Uh, PHP is quite popular and widely used programming language. It won't fade easily. Not gonna fade at all. PHP users will drop down in slow and steady manner. PHP is its own victim in some cases. Yeah, well, PHP is still in the top 10. So, you know, let's do a search for that. Let me uh, get into that in a second. We're gonna go um, top 10 programming languages 2021. Let's pull that up. Uh, I'll try this one. Uh, so we'll give this guy some free promo here, some free promo. So here we go. The site, top 10 most popular program, programming languages 2021 and beyond. Here are the most popular programming languages in 2021. Listing is present. This will help you choose the best language for web and mobile development. Anyway, I get into that later. So let's see what he says. Several programming languages are there still. New ones are constantly emerging. Emerging, But the major concern is which one running the whole market or which programming language is the most popular and well-suited for web and mobile development. Anyway, let's just go down. So there's many different rankings and I can tell you these rankings are ballpark, which you can always see, uh, give or take. Uh, so Python, number one, C, Java, C++, C Sharp, R, this is weird. Uh, JavaScript, PHP, Go, Swift. Typically, in all the language rankings that you see, it's going to be Python, Java, C Sharp, C++, JavaScript, PHP. So let's get, go back. We'll find another one. Tyobi Index. People love Tyobi. All right. We'll see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. So again, as I said, it's C, Java, Python, C++, uh, C Sharp, Visual, ba Visual Basic, JavaScript, PHP, uh, Assembler, SQL, Go. These are the typical... Uh, candidates. If you learn any of these, you're in a good position. This is one list, but typically these are the languages you see in the top, the top 10, and PHP is always there, so that's interesting. Let's look at some PHP jobs. So I looked for PHP, New York, New York. Site reliability engineer, 75 to 100,000 a year. Uh, PHP LAMP developer, 110,000 a year. Lots of job, how many jobs? So 624 PHP jobs just in New York. We'll try, um, Miami, Florida, it was, I think there's going to be less, I would imagine 86 jobs, not bad, 80,000, 80, 125,000 a year. Let's try, uh, I don't know, we'll try uh, Los Angeles, California, it's usually a ruby strong, 325 jobs. So you can see there's, uh, you know, these are low, that's like, that's really low. This is more like it, you know, 145,000, 
86 an hour. 86 an hour, you, it's over 170,000. It's about 170,000 a year. 100,000. So you get the idea. Lots of job opportunities in PHP. Uh, let's see. Google Trends. So I typed in Google, uh, PHP rather, last 12 months. Look at the trend. What's compared to uh, Java? So Java's higher, of course. But in terms of the searches on Google, but it's it's still ballparkish. Let's go JavaScript. JavaScript has less searches than PHP. PHP. PHP is blue. JavaScript is yellow. That's probably surprising people. Let's try C sharp. C sharp is green. It's about to level JavaScript. So you can see PHP is holding strong. Java is usually king. Oh, dude, the big one is Python. Python is getting a lot of searches today. Python is in a massive growth spike. No, there you go. This is in the last 12 months. So you can see um, they're all kind of ballparkish, you know. To give you a, a comparative uh, example, let me get rid of C sharp, remove, and we're going to go with uh, Swift. Or Swift. Swift is per oh, Swift is doing pretty good. Lots of searches on Swift. Big spike in 220 here. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, PHP is right up there in terms of uh, Google searches. Again, this is not the ultimate end all. You got to kind of compare jobs, uh, Google trends. Let's look at uh, the five year trend. It's going to be down for most of these languages except Python, I imagine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Java's the one that's really fallen from the heights, right? If you look at that, Java was the king. Uh, purple, what's purple? Purple. Swift had some big spike back in the day. But yeah, yeah. So, yeah. There you go. So when you're looking at language popularities, I suggest you always look at the jobs, you look at the trends, you look at the indexes like Tayobi. As you can see, PHP is very big. Uh, it's PHP learning PHP easy. One of the hardest parts about web development is learning multiple, the multiple languages required to build a website. PHP is an easy language to grasp, and it's great start before you dive into more complex languages. Oh, this is a no. This is this is this is silly. <laughs> HTML is not more complex. SQL is not more complex. Uh, JavaScript is not more complex. So this we gotta go continue. That's not the best there. Is PHP easier than Python? For beginners, Python is much easier than PHP. PHP, on the other hand, can be a bit tough for novice programmers. PHP was was designed to create simple personal pages, but of late it has grown in complexity. This is January 21. The PHP developer community is trying hard to provide a lot of support for new programmers. Okay, so let me just uh, jump into that. I'll end with this quick comment about that. Python is easier to start learning with because the syntax looks more like normal English and because it's just easy to get, get up and running with versus PHP. That said, if you want to do web stuff, PHP is easier than Python because there's a lot more configurations you have to do to get Python going on the web versus PHP. Python's strength is that it's a general purpose programming language, programming language does all kinds of different things, and PHP's strength is that it just does one thing, and that's web, but it does that very, very well.